Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cookie with Auntie Sham. Happy bo Boxing Day to all. I do hope everyone had an enjoyable Christmas. And today I am going to make some dal puri. I have a pound of dal here that I am going to boil. I, I, I am adding some salt and saffron to it. I have here my flour, some oil, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt which and baking powder that I will be adding into my dough for the dal puri. My dal is pressure in there and uh, I'm cooking my rice here and I'm now going to chunk in my goat curry in the backyard on the fire. So here I have my grind up onion, garlic pepper, green seasoning, and something in the goat curry. Mm -hmm. This is my goat meat already clean and washed thoroughly. And this is my masala that I am going to add inside some duck and goat, turmeric, dry jeera, and lala's curry powder. Also, I have some chili flakes there. I love my curry to be spicy and dark. So, This has been frying up for like about 10 minutes. I do it longer today because it's plenty. And I am now adding in all my curry powder and other masala. I will allow this to fry further for like about another 5 minutes. And then I will add the goat meat. So I am now. Adding my goat to the masala. I'm now adding some salt. And as usual, the salt and pepper is for your own taste, your own likeness. Today I am going to boost up my spices here with another masala or you should say another I should say another spice it's made up of clove cinnamon star anise and other spices and this is homemade I made this myself So friends, I am parching some fresh jeera here to add into my grind piece. As you saw earlier when the, um, I was grinding the dal, the onion, garlic and pepper was added to blend, to grind in it. 
So I'm now adding in the parched jeera. And also some ground jeera. Here I have some celery and shallot or green onions as some people call it. So I am now going to start to fold my dog into the dough. So I roll out my dough. My loy, sorry. I add some oil to it. And now I am going to make it into a funnel. I just stick this into the bottom here so. And then you add the doll inside there. stuck here in properly on the bottom also and here you have the dal puri, puri loy I am going to do continue doing this until all is finished so here my goat curry has been boozing for the past hour On slow fire. See how nice it is. I am now going to add some potatoes. So I allow the potato to bounce in here for five minutes, and now I am adding some hot water. So I'm going to allow this to cook until it is tender to our likeness. I now started to cook my dal puri. And it's swelling up here nicely. Long ago we used to say the roti vex is swelling up him out. So friends, my goat curry finished cooking in an hour and four to five minutes. <laughs> exact. And my potato also properly cooked. And it have a little bit of gravy here, but I am going to leave it a bit because we're going to use it with roti and rice bowl. So I am going to take this down now. So here you have it, friends. My rice finished cooking. My dal here. My dal puri finish, and this is my good curry. I do hope you enjoy watching my video. Thank you all for watching. See you in more upcoming videos. Love you all. Bye bye.